GFX 100 Mark II Equation Solved. Why I'm liking GFX 100 Mark II very much. Why the X emit was done right. Why you didn't have an announcement for X Pro 4. And why X Pro 4, XE5, XT50 and X106 will be announced in 2026. Let's talk about this now. Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Tudor Matescu. So if you are in content like this, please give it a like to this video and subscribe to my channel because in this video I want to share with you why Fujifilm did right what they did with the x -Emit, not announcing X-Pro4 and other APS-C lenses and APS-C cameras. We will dissect this, but before let's talk why GFX 100 Mark II is great news and why I'm the first time thrilled about this camera. Yes, this is the first time when I'm looking at a medium format camera that it thrills me. I was seeing of course what Fujifilm did with the medium format and I was liking the image quality. Okay, but photography for me is not just image quality because you can get great image quality if you know photography, if you know light, you can get it with an APS-C camera, you can get it with a micro four thirds camera, you can get it with a full frame camera, you can get it with a mobile phone and this is a very important aspect that we will discuss immediately why and what is the relationship between the mobile phone and X Pro 4 XE5 X106. So GFX 100 Mark II, great IBIS. So this is a huge deal. Finally, we have a great camera from Fujifilm with great design, innovative design for a medium format. I'm liking the design. The design is making me want that camera. Beautiful design. Finally, beautiful design. Yes, the camera is big and it should be big. It's no other way for the moment, but it has great design. So design is what is motivating me to pick a camera like X Pro 3 or like X 100 V. So great design, a camera that will motivate me to pick it up. Next, how I've said great IBIS with 102 megapixels. So this means finally you'll be able to shoot on the streets a medium format camera because now we have the next important improvement speed. So great speed because when you have 102 megapixels you need speed. So this means the medium format GFX 100 Mark II will be able to be used on the streets in wedding photography, in portraiture photography and so on easier than it was till now because again we are talking about a huge file. So finally Fujifilm is getting really really close to the speed of a full frame camera in a small body. So more and more and more more even photographers that want an edge in their business attention in their business, they will opt for a medium format camera from Fujifilm because the price again, let's be serious, is great. Under 10K, you'll be able to get a camera that will blow your mind like no other full frame camera is able to do this again with AF, with AF, with accurate AF, with great video specs. So a monster of a camera and portable with IBIS, with great design. So great, great camera. I'm the first time thrilled about a medium format camera, the first time. Because again, I wasn't thrilled about medium format camera because I was knowing that using a camera like this without a tripod, it's a no way to go. But now we have this GFX great camera with IBIS, AF speed and all the goodies that will make this camera portable as a professional DSLR. And by the way, I have a special newsletter dedicated to the passionate photographers. So if you want to learn more about photography tips, tricks and all kinds of useful information for free, please subscribe to my newsletter link in the comments and description. Next, we have the new lens and this is the next big thing, the 55 mm f1.7. And why it's big thing? Because f1.7 on a medium format. Just think about the speed, the shutter speed that you'll have. Just think about the depth of field, about the blurriness, about the bokeh, about the subject to background separation and all the goodies in a portable compact lens that has, and this is the biggest, biggest news for me, the 45 millimeters equivalent field of view on a full frame. So an everyday lens, an everyday lens you can do with the 45 millimeters equivalent lens, the 55 millimeters f1.7 on GFX, whatever you want 
regarding photography. So you can do street photography, you can do event photography, you can do portraiture photography, whatever you want, because you have the 45. So the 40, almost 40 millimeters field of view that I'm really, really liking it. But more than that, and this is where all things come into play. I'm a big fan of the four or thirds format sensor, the aspect. So we have a four or thirds medium format sensor, not a three by two sensor. So this means you'll have more space from my experience as a micro four thirds user in that sensor when you are composing images. This is what I'm feeling in the field when I'm doing photography. So that lens with that field of view, with the f1.7 aperture, it is the ultimate 40 millimeters field of view lens with AF on a medium format with Fujifilm colors with eight stops IBIS. Great. Extraordinary. Extraordinarily great. And again, the price beats them all for what you get beats them all. So great news. Now I've received complaints and I and betting there are other complaints on Fujifilm forums and sites. Why Fujifilm didn't say anything about the APS-C cameras like XC5, like X-Pro4, like XT50 and so on. And other APS-C lenses. Also, there was complaints like this when Fujifilm launched XT5. So why Fujifilm didn't say anything about the GFX lenses, about the GFX format? Well, you must understand that Fujifilm is a company. Fujifilm needs to make marketing and the x summit it's a marketing event so what does a marketing event means a marketing event is an event that has the objective to sell it doesn't have the objective to inform you about the specs of the cameras no the objective of a summit of an event is to sell you cameras and to sell you cameras they need to focus on a specific market so if you are a professional photographer that shoots APS-C or medium format you should learn from Fujifilm x summit you should segment your clients you should target your clients precisely this is what Fujifilm is doing with the X-Summit. They are targeting specific segments from their niche. They want to sell the Fujifilm GFX to the professional, but also to the passionate photographer that has enough money to enter in this system. And they did it right because if they would talk in the x about APS-C lenses, that will dilute the power and the excitement that the GFX brings to the table. So this is a normal marketing move. This is how they've done the last x regarding X-T5. They've talked just about APS-C cameras and also with XS20. So this is how you must do it. If Fujifilm in the past x that I didn't follow talked about APS-C and GFX cameras, they did it wrong or maybe they did it right because they were launching the GFX system. But now because the GFX system has a maturity and it is there and the APS-C system also is mature but has some problems and we'll get immediately to those problems, they needed to separate them. So they did it right. And what does this tell me? This tells me this is a marketing strategy. They are talking to the professionals. Why they are talking to the professionals? And we'll get immediately to the X-Pro4, X-E5, X-T50 part. Because we are in a financial crisis, because the selling of the cameras is shrinking down. Why the sellings are shrinking down? Because of the mobile phones, because of the iPhone. Everybody's taking picture with a phone and they can't tell to a new customer why they should buy a camera. The new customer will buy a Fujifilm camera or other small accessible camera just after they've used their phone if they will not go to another phone. So they have a big competition with the mobile phone because the mobile phone is more easy to be taken with you and it's more easy to take pictures and people are satisfied with mobile phone photography. So they can't sell point and shoot cameras to a big market. So where is the money in the photography niche? The money in the photography niche is at the professionals, at people that are earning money with their cameras by doing event photography, by doing wedding photography, by doing news photography and so on. So professional, paid professional that they need good gear, fashion photography and so on. So this is where the money is. This is why you are seeing big cameras released because the money earned at the passionate 
photographers. The professional photographers are buying camera from time to time. They can't justify investing so much money in a camera. So this is what Fujifilm is doing and other photography companies are doing. They are going where the money is and the money is at the professional photographer that wants good image quality, good reliable cameras and they are aren't bothered by the size of the camera. Now, do you want to take your passion for photography at the next level? Are you a working photographer? Do you know what it's a photography funnel? Do you have a newsletter dedicated for your clients? If not, check my newsletter and find out more techniques to get more customers and get more money for your photography business. Link in the comments and description and also on the screen a short URL. So now we are getting to the X106 part and X Pro 4, XC5, XT50 and other small Fujifilm cameras. Why they will be released in 2026 from my point of view. First of all, the rumors is saying that a new X106 will be released in 2026. So if Fujifilm film has in mind to release in 2026 an X100V camera, then it's obvious for me that XC5 X Pro 4 will be launched in that year. And why? Again, because you are unsatisfied with XC4 and other old Fujifilm camera like XT30 and so on. And probably you will decide between this time to buy XT5 because XT5 is almost there, it's small, it's portable and it can do the job for you. Yes, it's not as small as an XC5 and so on. And also you have some insatisfactions with X Pro 3 and because of these insatisfactions of the market, people will buy again XS20 XT5. But after you've bought all these cameras and you are pretty satisfied with with them, you will last again for a small Fujifilm camera. And after you will last for that small Fujifilm camera and the market will be hungry for that small cameras, Fujifilm will finally come with X106, XC5, XT50 and they will sell like crazy in 2026 on the passionate photographer niche. But they will make more money with cameras like XT5, XH2, XH2S dedicated to professional or GFX. And after taking all this money and from the different marketing niche, they will also monetize on the small part of the niches if they will consider that they will make some money there. So expect, totally expect X Pro 4, XC5, XT50 in the year 2026 and I am sure that they will release X106 and X Pro 4 and probably XC5, XT50 because they also have a legacy and also we are seeing Fujifilm is dedicated to the legacy. The legacy is part of their brand. So even if they can't expect big profits on those niches and on those cameras, they will release them because of their legacy and because of their brand. This is where they have the chance to to differentiate from other camera brands. So expect X Pro 4, XC5, XT50 in 2026. And if you don't have the patience, Fujifilm has the solution for you. You have the XS20, a small capable body with a DSLR design and XT5, another small capable body, but not as small and as light as XS20. But both of these two cameras will replace XC5, XT50, X Pro in a way. But again, we all know if you are passionate about these cameras that these options alternative will not replace entirely the X Pro 4 experience, the X100V experience, the XC4 experience. And you'll be unsatisfied on the long term. And when the cameras will come, you will buy and everybody will be happy and our wallets empty. Please subscribe to my video, check my affiliate link, subscribe to my newsletters. I have a business newsletter dedicated to working photographers that are wanting to learn marketing and make more money from their clients. And also I have a newsletter dedicated to passionate photographers, dedicated to photographers that are doing photography just for hobby. So as you are able to see, I'm segmenting my niches, how Fujifilm also is doing with the X Semi. Now, please check the next video. Click, click, click here right now.